Hello, this is Danpro. Welcome back to my Brigify tutorial series. We're in part 8x. I'm going to call this part 8x because um, this is going to be the introduction to the next few tutorials in the series um, where I'm going to break down everything by its rig type. So um, in each tutorial I'm going to talk about a specific section of the rig. So the spine rig, uh, for example, I'll talk about bone placement and how to orient the axes of those bones so you can get a good working um, uh, when you generate the rig, it's going to work well right from the get-go. The other thing I want to talk about are rig options and features. So basically, um, there's not a lot of people that know that you can actually set up a lot of options pre-generation. So there's pre-generation options that you can select for different parts of the rig um, that will generate the rig differently, and therefore it'll function differently. So um, to my knowledge, nobody has ever documented those pre-generation options, so I'm going to do that. I also want to talk about the animation options and controls. So basically, after we generate the rig, um, depending on what we use for our pre-generation options, on how that's going to uh, affect the use of the rig. I'll tell you what each rig control does, its main um, function, and also the options that are tied to those um, different rig controls. So you've probably seen that whole big list of sliders and things that come up under rig main properties. Some things that say isolate this, isolate that, IKFK, IKFK stamping. I'm going to talk about all those different sliders and options, what they do and how they can help you when you're animating. So. Uh, in addition to those things, I also want to talk about the main differences between the original and the pitchy poi rig types. Now, when you generate the rig, um, generate them both, they both kind of have identical looking um, control bones, but they actually work and function and animate very, very differently. So, um, and I shouldn't actually use versus here because I don't want to imply that one is better than the other. Um, the original and both and the pitchy poi rigs are both very good rigs, but they, they have very different functions, so one can be better than the other for your specific animation needs, so that's why I want to talk about those differences. Um, another thing, you don't, you're not um, stuck using either the original or the pitchy poi rig types, you can actually mix and match. So if you like the pitchy poi spine rig, for example, but you like the way the original arm and leg rigs work, you can mix and match those rig types and they, that will generate a rig that works that way. So I'll talk about that as well. Now to finish up this tutorial, I actually want to talk about the root bone and the reason I'm including the root bone in this tutorial is because it doesn't fall under a rig type. Um, the Brigify rig is always going to create a root bone for you. So I want to tell you what it does. Um, I actually consider the root bone to be the most important bone uh, in the Rigify rig or any rig for that matter. So I've got a quick root bone demonstration to kind of show the power of it. Um, I think most people only th see the basic utility of it. Uh, they think it's just a basic uh, move all type of control, but it actually can have a huge effect on your animations and how you make your animations, how you key things for your animations to make them reusable. Uh, in different files, in different locations, different rotations. Anyways, I'll show that and hopefully that'll all become clear. So let's get our Eve rig back up on the screen here. I'll enable those layers. So this is the root bone, this big arrow at the base, at the very base. And like I said, Brigify is going to generate a root bone for every rig. But if I go to the meta rig layer here, you'll notice that there's not a root bone there. So it is going to create one for us on every rig and um, what makes the root bone important is every other bone in the rig whether it's a control bone a mechanism bone or um, a, a deformation bone in some way shape or form it can follow its hierarchy all the way back down to the root bone so that's kind of the key name there it is the root most bone um, therefore it is the master parent bone um, every other bone in the rig in some way shape or form is a child of that root bone so let me show a kind of a boring demonstration first for the utility and then I'll get into the a uh, little bit more advanced things here in a little bit. A little bit more exciting, or at least I hope it is. Um, so basically if you grab this um, rib bone and you start changing its location, every other bone in that rig is going to change relative with it. So it's going to, the location of the rib bone is going to affect the location of all the children. Now if you rotate it, every other bone in the rig is going to rotate relative to that. Now relative is what I want you to keep in mind and if you scale 
that root bone everything else in the rig is going to scale relative to that so like I said that doesn't look very exciting uh, on its surface so I actually have a different um, file here with a uh, pretty crappy walk cycle I haven't spent a lot of time on this I just set some basic poses um, just for this demonstration uh, please don't uh, judge my animation abilities by this particular one but anyways I want to show the how the root bone can really affect your animation so I've got a simple walk cycle here it's just a 32 frame walk cycle now notice that she's actually walking a hundred frames I just want to quickly show you how I manage that or set that up so I just set up a, a quick walk cycle um, one step basically and then I went to my graph editor and all these squiggly lines going before and after this main section of um, the animation here uh, let me see if I can grab one of these alright so I'll grab one of these keyframes so I can see this channel uh, over here if you type N or click this plus button you'll get another panel here and this is where you can add modifiers to your channels and I've added cycles modifiers and most of the channels I just have repeat motion so before and after so I'm just repeating those motions um, over and over that's how I'm getting uh, multiple frames or more frames than 32 frames so the walk cycle is, is continuing on and on um, you'll notice that these got these three um, green lines here these are actually the Y locations for the IK feet and also this torso control now on these I also added cycle modifiers but I changed them to repeat with offset so instead of repeat motion this repeat with offset is basically when I get to the end of um, 32 frames here it's just gonna take that new location and then repeat that again just to keep her walking forward so anyways enough of that uh, that explanation what does that have to do with the root bone so uh, one thing also that you I want to point out is I haven't actually keyed the root bone in this animation which will probably seem odd because I'm trying to explain why the root bone is so important but that's coming up here now this animation by itself isn't very useful so when are you ever gonna have your character start from the very center of the world and walk it's almost never gonna happen unless you were to build all of your other props around the very center of the scene this animation is probably just not very useful but the root bone is going to make it reusable so again uh, like I mentioned before every other bone in that rig is parented to the root bone you could think of every other bone in that rig as living in the space of that root bone and therefore every one of the keyframes is living in the space of that root bone so what that means is I'm just play this animation let's say I want her to walk from a different point I can just grab the root bone I'm gonna do G and then shift Z just so I keep the root bone on the ground and I can put that root bone anywhere and that animation is gonna work from any location in the scene now in addition I can rotate that rib bone and have her walk in any direction that I wish so if I want her to walk backwards or towards the center of the scene I could do that now something else that you're gonna run into uh, often or at least I have is let's say you bring Eve or your character into another f scene with another bunch of characters or another bunch of props and if all those other characters and props aren't at the same scale you're kind of screwed if you don't have a good working rip bone in your rig which the rigify rig does um, just by scaling that rip bone you'll notice that this animation still works let me scale it up because it'll probably be easier to see what I want you to notice is there's no foot slide on these everything is still relative to that rip bone everything still works that's the key so I know the rip bone by itself doesn't look very exciting it's probably one of the least used bones in the rig uh, but you can see the importance of it so I also don't want to um, kind of put it out there that the root this is the only way to set up a walk cycle with the root bone you can do it multiple ways this is just one way let me just show you the one of the drawbacks for this particular way is I can't um, get her to walk around corners with this method using the root bone at that stationary point um, but I could take this into the NLA editor and add a few keyframes to get her to walk around in a circle um, but anyways that's uh, beyond the scope of this tutorial but uh, I just wanted to show you the power of the rib bone here's a few other tips um, 
usually on the very first frame of your animation you'll want to set your character by using the root bone set it at the location and rotation and scale that you need so the main line of action is going to um, the root bone is pointing in the main line of action so um, that's going to help you in the graph editor everything will make a little bit more sense there um, when you've changed that location rotation or scale one of the easy things you can do is just turn that root bone on or off now the reason you would want to turn it off if you're using a custom location rotation and scale is because one of the things you're often going to do is select all of your rig controls by using alt g r and s to clear everything out um, by hiding that root you're not going to reset um, this to the ground zero here and so if I re-enable that and then do alt g r and s that's probably not what you want just back this up three times here you want to hide that basically after you've set your keyframes on the first um, keyframe in most instances at least when I'm how I'm using it here you can pretty much just hide that root bone and uh, not worry about it so um, up next we'll talk about the different rig types until then good luck